So macOS Tahoe has now been announced, and with this release, Apple are finally marking the end point of Intel Mac support, putting all of their focus onto Apple's very own M series chips. And so macOS Tahoe will be the final release for Intel Macs. So if you've not done so already, now is a great time to help your users migrate to the Apple Silicon versions of your apps. And so Intel Macs will no longer be supported. This isn't such a big deal. Apple Silicon hardware is faster, more power efficient, and the GPUs even in the base M1 Max are far superior to the underpowered Intel integrated chips of the past. But macOS Tahoe isn't just the end of Intel chip support. It also marks the beginning of the end of the x86 CPU translation layer known as Rosetta 2, which is still relied on for thousands of Mac applications and games, and is also integral to Windows gaming through crossover and the game porting toolkit. And in this video today, I'm gonna to be talking about what the removal of Rosetta 2 means for the future of Mac gaming. And the sponsor of today's video is Manta Sleep, and I'm wearing the Manta Silk Sleep Mask, definitely the most comfortable mask that I've ever worn. The 100% pure silk material reduces friction on the face and is very gentle on the skin. And easily the best thing about this mask is the fact that it has high quality 30 mommy silk eye cups which glide across the skin with zero friction. And these amazing cups can be removed and reattached to be customized for your own unique face. And the Manta Sleep Silk Mask will taper at your temples so they can sleep just as comfortably on your side. Their perfectly contoured shape means that you can get luxurious comfort and absolute blackout in any sleep position. And they don't just sell sleep masks. Check out the super comfy Manta Travel Pillow, which inflates in just two blows. And if you're looking to block out noise, the Manta White Noise Machine has you covered. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description to go to the Manta Sleep website, where you can find a huge range of other sleep masks which you can buy. Make sure to use my coupon code Andrew for 10% off your car order. So big thanks to Manta Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the main content. So back in 2020, Apple introduced the M1, the first ARM-based chipset set made by Apple for use in the Mac desktop. This new generation of chip would replace all of the Intel processors of the past and have higher performance and more power efficiency. However, there was just one problem. All previous macOS software was built for the Intel x86 chipset and would require updating in order to support the ARM chipset of the M1. And so Apple introduced Rosetta 2, an Intel x86 to ARM translation layer, which would automatically translate existing apps whilst maintaining high performance, whilst at the same time being completely transparent to the user. So for example, if I wanna run a game like Terraria and I'm playing it for the first time on a brand new Mac, then it's gonna ask me to install Rosetta here. That's because it's an Intel application and we need to have it in order to run this game on the ARM system architecture. Here you can see under activity monitor that this is an Intel type game, but if you were an end user, you probably wouldn't be able to tell because it runs just fine. And not only that, you only have to install Rosetta once. Every Intel application and game run after that will seamlessly open as if it's a native app. So here, for example, we're running Dota 2, still one of the most popular multiplayer games of all time. And even though this is an Intel game that never got updated to support ARM, it's able to run on the Mac because of Rosetta 2 and the performance is very good. We're getting literally hundreds of frames per second. However, this could all be set to change. Within the new developer documents released at this year's WWDC, it says here that Rosetta was designed to make transition to Apple Silicon easier, and we plan to make it available for the next two major macOS releases through macOS 27. And this could mean that even very popular titles like League of Legends, which uses Rosetta 2, could stop working on Apple Silicon Macs with the latest operating system updates as soon as 2027. However, thankfully, it looks like Rosetta 2 won't be removed from many games. And Apple say here, beyond this time frame, we will keep a subset of Rosetta functionality aimed at supporting older, unmaintained titles that rely on Intel-based frameworks. So it's likely that many of these games are going to continue to work through Rosetta 2. But it does call into question other pieces of software. So for example, Steam is still an Intel application being run through Rosetta 2 despite the fact that this is one of the most popular game launches of all time. And it's not completely out of the question for, say, Steam to drop support for macOS if there is no Intel build support through Rosetta 2. After all, Mac users make up less than 2% of the total player base for Steam. It seems absurd to think that they would leave so much money on the table, but it wasn't that long ago that Valve had a fully working port of Counter-Strike 2 for Mac and decided to completely drop support, despite the fact that there were probably tens of thousands of Mac players. Now, the good news is that if you did want to play Counter-Strike 2, you can play the Windows version on a Mac using Crossover. You can run it using something called DXVK, which is a graphics translation there, or you can make use of D3D Metal from Apple's game porting toolkit. 
Now the problem here is that the game porting toolkit isn't actually designed to play games. You're meant to be evaluating how much work it would take in order to convert a game into a native ARM title using Metal, which is Apple's proprietary graphics API. And this makes heavy use of the Rosetta 2 translation layer. Without Rosetta 2, none of these Windows games which are built on the x86 platform could actually be run on a Mac. And Apple's messaging is a little bit unclear on this, but at the end of the day, the game porting toolkit is supposed to be a temporary interim measure. Developers are supposed to port their games onto native ARM with Metal. We're not supposed to be evaluating or playing these games forever. Developers are supposed to finish the native ARM Mac ports of their games and then move on. And this is despite the fact that Apple seem to also be improving Rosetta 2 at the same time that they're also dropping support for it as well. For example, adding support for AVX and F16C, allowing previously unplayable games like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart to finally be playable on a Mac through crossover and game porting toolkit. And the latest version of D3D Metal released just yesterday even manages to fix graphical glitches in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, probably something more for the gamers than for the game developers. So what exactly would happen if Apple decided to drop support for Rosetta 2 and Windows gaming through crossover was no longer supported? Well, crossover does have a contingency plan. Here in their blog post, they say, if and when Apple does decide to remove or eliminate Rosetta 2, we will likely be prepared. And so as much as I'd like Apple to support backwards compatibility for games, I do know that Apple are very much forward thinking company and they are very quick to deprecate older technologies which they don't deem useful for the future. You don't have to go that far back to see the deprecation of the old PPC CPU instruction set and the removal of the original Rosetta 1. And Apple are actually quite consistent about this deprecation. Here is my video covering this topic from around three years ago, showing that deprecation would take about five years and here we can see that the Rosetta 2 timeline follows a remarkably similar path and that this week's announcement shows that the Rosetta 2 timeline was always going to be only five years. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about the announcement that Rosetta 2 is being deprecated. What kind of criteria do you think Apple are going to use to decide which games and applications are going to be allowed to continue to use Rosetta going forwards? Do we think that Steam is going to be a part of Mac gaming forever? Or is it going to be replaced in the future? Especially if Valve decide not to keep Steam updated to native ARM, they might decide to even shut down Steam entirely and instead focus on their own platforms. Anyway, make sure to leave a comment. I'm really curious to hear what you think about this whole situation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.